Happy Labor Day to you, friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca with a look at your one minute weather. We do have a front across our region. This front is pretty much going to hang out for the next day or so. Parts of our area uh, could see a little bit of a humidity drop, especially the north, uh, further north you are on I 10. But you can see there is going to be a slight risk for some street flooding. Already seeing some heavy downpours to start off Labor Day with a quick one to two inches of rain, some minor street flooding is expected and by the afternoon hours there could be another round of heavy downpours right now the coverage at 40 percent and then quickly uh, diminishing as we get closer towards sundown those rain chances below 20 percent by nine o'clock so here's a look at future track a nice little lull here late morning early afternoon and then i think picking up uh, some of that activity between two and four o'clock not a lot of coverage here but areas west of i-45 could see some additional showers and thunder thunderstorms once the sun goes down. Otherwise, once we get past 10, 11 o'clock or so, things should quiet down. Look for temperatures to warm into the low 90s, so slightly lower than what we saw over the weekend. Closer to the coastline, a high of 91 in Galveston, and you will notice that uh, the rain chances will be dropping to close out the week. Now, tropical satellite indicating this area of disturbed weather over the Bay of Campeche now looks to move to the north and then get shoved to the north and east. As I mentioned, that front that's draped across our region, another one reinforces it later on this week. So with both of these fronts, although we won't see any huge impacts here, it will shove this deeper tropical moisture to the east of us. And you can see that with our atmospheric moisture product, that deeper moisture moves into portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, even the panhandle of Florida. However, as we look ahead, heading into the weekend, first half of the weekend, we are dry, but then come Sunday, looks like some of that moisture gets tugged in our direction, but I think we've got a better chance of seeing some of that that rain early next week. So about a week from now, we'll increase those rain chances to 40%. And of course, with that deeper tropical moisture moving into the Gulf of Mexico, we'll have to monitor uh, anything for development. So if we start to see any hints of that, most likely we'll, we'll know more later on this week. So we'll keep a close eye on that. You'll notice that drier air in place will also bring temperatures back down into the low 70s during the morning hours. Unfortunately, during the afternoon, that dry Dryer air heats up pretty efficiently, so we're back up close to 100 degrees on Thursday, although it's a dry heat. Thanks for watching.